I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on set theory. Here is an excellent question from one of our subscribers and I hope many of you will benefit from its solution. To post your questions, you can always send them to my email address given in the comments. The question here is, given A equals 2, a set of 0, 1 and 2, these three are the elements of set A. How many proper subsets will be there for the set A? That is what you need to answer. Four choices are given to you. Now let's first try to understand what is the meaning of proper subset. Right. So if I have subset of A, what I'm trying to say here is that if my set A is shown by this particular circle, then the subset will be totally inside it, right? Now we could also have a condition where for A, we have another set B which is same as A. Correct. So we could have two scenarios. One as shown here and one where A and B are equal. Right? So we say set A is equal to set B. Now in this case, we know B is subset of A and we also know that A is subset of B. Now this symbol here is for subset. Now in this particular case we will write that B is proper subset of A. Now this is proper subset. So when we say B is proper subset of A, it really means that B is not equal to A, right? B is totally contained in A, correct? So that is the proper subset. So I hope that makes uh, the point very clear. What do we understand by proper subset and subset? And the symbols are also different. Do you see that symbol here and here? So that underscore is not there in proper subset. Now let's look into the question. How many proper subsets will be there for A? Now some of you know if the number of elements are 3, so we have 3 elements. So we could have 0, we may not have 0, we could have 1, we may not have 1, we may have 2, we may not have 2. So in this particular case, we have in all subsets, how many subsets? Subsets will be 2 to the power of 3, since there are 3 elements, right? So, which is 8. As far as the proper subsets are concerned, how many proper subsets? Proper subsets will be 1 less. Will be 8 minus 1, which is 7. Since one of the subsets is 0, 1, 2 itself. You get the idea, right? So, we could use the formula 2 to the power of n to get our result, right? Here, n equals to 3 for us. Or, we could list out the sets also. Now, let me list out the sets. So, one of the sets here is with single element. So, it could be 0, 1, or 2, right? In 1, we could have combination of any 2. So, with 0, we could have 1. With 0, we could have 2. And then with 1, we could have, we already have 0. So, the order doesn't matter here. And then we could have all 3 of them. 0, 1, and 2. Can you tell me what did I miss? These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 7. What I missed is a null set. So this is a null set, empty set, which is subset of all. So we also write this as the letter phi. Okay. So now from here, now all these are proper subsets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the answer is 7, as we calculated here. Do you see that? The eighth set is a subset but not a proper subset since it is equal to the set 
a so i hope you get the concept right so that is how you have to count the proper subsets phi or null set is counted in the proper subset and a set equal to the given set is not counted. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to send an email in the given address. Thanks and all the best.